Hello, welcome to New Life Scientific. My name is Steve. Today we're going to talk about the Kyogen Kaya Symphony, a robust system that we've uh, had quite a few go through. We want to talk about what you should look for uh, in a unit and how uh, talk about how we test a unit uh, to ensure that you get a when you get your product, it is a good running system. Um, system uh, comes with a touchscreen. So it's real easy to, to operate. Uh, it uses a lot of consumables. Uh, and we're gonna talk about it in a little bit. Uh, one of the testing methods that we use is, this is in the, uh, the maintenance section of the screen. We run all the tests on this. Uh, some of the tests are very simple. Uh, it's basically just a uh, move uh, right left procedure. Um, that we make sure that it's working. It, uh, some of the other steps move different racks. You'll see it move some of those in another test that we're gonna show, um, which does even a further test. When it completes it, it asks you to continue. Um, a minute ago, I pressed a button and it did nothing because it was already in the position that we was going to. Um, it returns, we run all those tests. It runs all the major functions of the deckware. Uh, one of the other things we do is run the cleaning or the cleanup on this. Um, the cleanup, a little bit more, a lot more involved. Uh, it's basically used uh, when, you, when you have a crash, uh, when you didn't, something didn't go right. It walks you through the procedure. Um, again, touchscreen makes it easy to use. It makes sure it's all lo lo uh, locked, everything is locked. I can't pull things open right now. Um, uh, Actually, I can because it's it's telling me to. It says open the drawer, remove any um, pollutants that I would have in there. Um, and it, like I said, walks you right through. Remove any tube carriers. Tube carriers goes in. We'll talk about those in a minute too. Are you using casework protocol? In this case, I'm going to tell it no. Um, it's asking why it needs cleaned up. It gives you the choices to do it. And for this test, we always just tell it other. Once that is complete, it begins its initialization process. Again, it's testing. You can see the lift in the back there, lifting. Um, the, um, the tip guard's flush. Right now, it's checking its, uh, the rack to so that it knows where everything is. And that's one of the first thing it does. It does that an awful lot so that you don't have crashes. Um, anyway, it's going to run several tests. While it's running some of those tests, we're gonna talk about some, some other uh, things. Uh, this one, uh, we have it shown on a, uh, the factory installed rack. Uh, we do offer these many times. Um, check your listing, it's a real handy rack. Uh, it does have a built-in place for your waste bin, and there is a chute that will come down and sh uh, close in. One of the things that you want to know whether this has the lid and funnel for this. In the back there is it's got a solid lid, but it normally comes with a second lid and a funnel that connects this to the bottom of this unit. This particular rack doesn't have one. Uh, it's not a lifesaver, and you or it's not a a big thing in most cases, you can easily fabricate one or you can buy one from, um, from Kyogen. Other thing, cabinet oil has a lot of storage. You are going to use a lot of different things. I talked about the waste bin there. Um, if you don't use the cabinet, make sure that it comes with, your unit comes with a rack that mounts under the waste drawer to catch the uh, expired tips. Um, if it doesn't, you're, it, it's going to be mad at you. So another thing, it's nice to know whether it comes with some of the others. And we're going to talk back to that because it's wanting, it's got more questions for us. It wants to make sure that there doesn't have a crash. It's telling you to manually uh, remove some items. Uh, the tube, whatever, things like that. You'll know what that means once you have one of these because it needs them to perform it, the, uh, the protocols, the assays uh, that you're going to be running. 
Uh, it's telling you to check, make sure any visible sample prep cartridges are available. In the, we we want to manually remove you. Are we sure that there's none available? Basically what it's saying. We want to check all the uh, racks are out. If this, the, the, uh, the cold section there. Now it's going to here in a second, it's going to pick up several pieces of plastic, put them on a rack in the back, in a, uh, on the uh, uh, conveyor belt in the back there. Um, so right now it's getting into position. Uh, it's doing an inventory of the plastic wear, which it does if you open up the unit um, in the, either the drawer or the lid, it's going to ask, has anything changed? It needs to know what's there and it will produce its own inventory scan, which is also part of our testing procedure to make sure that it has the ability to find what's there. So while it's going, it's looking for a particular uh, type of uh, uh, consumer wear, um, in this case, a prep, uh, a sample prep rack, um, and it's gonna make sure that it has it, has the right number of them, uh, so I can use for the test. There are notch, special notches on the disposable packaging uh, that these plastic comes in, so it knows what is in that rack. And uh, by using its, uh, the laser detection can determine how many of them are there. Very neat system in that, uh, in this respect. And um, there it finds it, Corey. It goes ahead and reaches. It grabs actually three of these units, brings it back to the conveyor belt, drops one, goes and puts the other one in the third position, and the third. So we know it's very accurate setting the system. Now this is a uh, separation uh, 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 unit. It's using magnetic rod as a separation. Um, which is what is coming down into place right now. Um, this is just part of its testing procedure though, uh, actually part of its cleanup procedure. Um, and then it's going to dispose of those um, in one of its waste containers. First, make sure the count is right, that the, all three of them came out of that unit. And because it's doing them in multiples like that, it saves time. Because um, it's not having to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth to get the, and drops them down into the disposable ware. Doors lock. Okay, it's actually done uh, with its major portion of them. So we're gonna return to some of the things that you wanna uh, know. Uh, it, it, uh, these are the, uh, cold plate units, they go on the cold racks in there. Uh, you wanna make sure that it comes with a waste bin, such as that. Um, they can come with one, they can come with two. Uh, we always try to sell one, ours with at least one. Um, lifting handles, real handy to have. Make sure that they tell you they're going to secure that arm. They do, the company does make shipping blocks so that that arm is fastened and shipping so it can't bang around and basically hurt itself, uh, which is what those are. There are other ways to secure those, but those are the simplest and easiest. Some of the consumables you're gonna need may be an insert um, for uh, your sample racks. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then you have your tests themselves. Uh, this is a test, these are piercing uh, lids, uh, and then there's your test kit, um, which you insert into the, into the unit. Um, one of the other things you want to make sure that it has. We're going to open this up. It's going to get angry with me in a minute just because it opened up. Is that it comes with one of these. If not, you're going to buy, need to buy one of these. We always now try to make sure that we have one of these uh, in the unit. Um, it's kind of, you really can't use the unit without it. Um, uh, there, you, it would be nice if they all came with two, but so many of these we get that don't have any, and then we have to uh, acquire these some other way. Um, these are the tips 
uh, that you're going to need. These are these when you need to change your, your consumables. That's how easy it is. You open the pack, there's a lid that goes on, you drop them in, you put it in. <coughs> the unit will ask you, hey, th that drawer opened, did you change anything? Do you want me to scan it? I uh, hear it's asking for something else, but we're going to go on and show you just a couple other things real quick. This is your sample rack where you're going to put racks. You can have a unit can hold up to five of these. Um, as you can see, you have 24 samples in each one. These have, and then you can get four different size um, uh, tubes. Uh, so your standard um, tube, or the, I think this is a two milliliter tube. Anyway, so there's a lot of different options that they do offer. Uh, find out how many samples you're going to run. We always try to make sure that you come with at least one rack. Uh, if, not, if you need more, we have more available. Depends on the kind of volume you're going to run uh, with these units. Um, uh, how many racks you're going to want. Um, and, uh, with, and a scanner is uh, very nice to, to have because each one of your kits you do scan and it keeps track of all that. Um, very easy to get these on the open market or through Kyogen. Uh, but you're gonna, you're gonna wanna ask to know what it comes with so you know what your expensive cost. Um, and with that, that's our Kyogen, that's our testing uh, regiment, uh, a major portion of it. We do quite a bit more. Um, if you have any questions, please let us know. Um, we always try to have these on, in, on, in hand. Um, so uh, if you need one of these, let us know. Thank you very much.